What is up, guys? It is John, Young Game Master Guys here. Hello, guys. I'm Super Six Four One Three Four here. And we welcome you to the grand finale of Super Mario World. Now, last time we got the special world, and it was a bit of a cakewalk. Well, better than what we expected. Um, let's just say that. But we're actually gonna save the princess here. We're gonna get a kiss. We're gonna get a smooch. Save, save everyone. Save Dinosaur Land. And hopefully we don't. Hopefully we don't have to deal with not, deal with this nonsense again. But I digress. Anyways, enough of, enough of a long talk. Let's get started. Okay. And it's done. All right. So for this level, it's a bit of a unique case. It's a kind of choose your own adventure gimmick style level. You have a set of four doors you can pick from, and each door leads you to a different environment. So, for example, the one John is going to go through has hotheads and moving platforms in it. Other doors have different, like, gimmicks with different enemies and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, I regret choosing this door already, so... It's but... not too bad. Why is the background, like, scrolling too? It's kind of trippy. Yeah, I see that. I think that's their point. Whatever, either way, it's just weird how they freaking... Uh, I have to deal with these freaking Microsoft Paint Spray Tool enemies. But you like have to that... deal with the... Smash with this item. <laughs> I know. But either way, we got that over with. The cool thing is that there's many ways to just go through this level. There's a lot of patterns you can go. I'm pretty sure the most common method is people taking the end of the routes. I don't know. I haven't really seen enough to really determine that. But I assume that's the case. So. That's what I do. Sometimes. I don't have all the, like, the doors memorized, but I know that every level leads you somewhere different. It's not the same. I know. Some so are easier than others, obviously. Or depending on, on... your skill level, I suppose. On your skill or, or what you deem, I guess, easy. Yeah. Uh, like, like for example, the door that John went through, I would deem pretty easy. Especially, mostly because of the cape. Oh, Capes yeah. Capes are perfect. Yeah, so you can take care of those stupid, um, charging chucks. And there's n these ninjas here. The only time we get to see them in this game. And, uh, the, and the debut of Mecha Coopers. Yeah, and they're only in this level, too. But then they come back as common airship enemies. So I guess we're in Bowser's disco room, I suppose. Like... Bowser's Coney Island Disco Palace. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they call it. It's kind of funny. I think, yeah, I, I don't realize that now that you mention it, it's actually, a ref Coney Island's a reference from that, it's from New York, that like carnival in New York, actually. Funny enough. Yeah. All right. I, I didn't prepare myself. I just rushed in, but yes. We meet the man himself, the king of the Koopas. If you can even call him a man. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Lord Bowser. All right. Now this boss here, um, it's not that hard. In a fucking clown car, part of my life. Yeah, so, okay, so what you're supposed to do here, you just get these Mega Koopas, throw it up at him, so. So these Koopa, so these Mega Koopas are way like the forest shadow saying, oh, yeah, oh. But I do know that if you do miss and just hit the clown car instead, there's going to be knocked out. But don't worry, he's nice enough to give you more. And be careful of that propeller there, it does hurt you. Oh, nice. I'm not gonna risk it. I would keep this one. Oh, this is a cool Dude, part here. Yeah, back then this was so revolutionary, people were like, Oh my god, he's going through the screen. Yeah, and then <laughs> he just flies out the TV. <laughs> they fucking the They fucking spoiled in the commercial too, actually. But, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I guess back then they didn't give a crap. <laughs> I know, but he was... <laughs> You know the and plus the cool thing is like you know this boss battle is so epic that the UI is not even here. No timer, no life counter. It's just well, there's the inventory, but even so, it's literally nothing, and it's pretty scary. I give you as much time as you need. You either fail or you win. Yeah, so this is a pretty epic boss here. He even drops down like bowling balls as too, and even the adaptation of this, like of this fight, was pretty cool. Even though it's just a, even though it's taking place at a fucking circus. I really like the boss name here too. It's very fitting. Yeah, this was. Get that final boss feel. Yeah, plus this was remixed like in Fortune Street, which has a very badass remix. In case you guys. Very, have... very good. That's for a game that probably didn't deserve this a good remix, but there it is. Yeah, for a fucking Square Enix board game, but um, that's like Monopoly. <laughs> and not only that, um, like also at times Peach is nice enough to get to lend you a mushroom, so that's kind of. Oh, he's mad. Yeah. So this was also this was also brought back in Super Mario Kart and Bowser's Castle tracks. So that's another cool addition. Hope to see that um, sometime in the future, so we can at least hear some remixes. Hey, be careful, buddy. Thank you, Peach, for that mushroom. Appreciate it. 
Don't underestimate Bowser, even though you've done it a countless amount of times. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Ooh. Oh no. Okay. It is actually pressuring the way he just jumps up and down, but thankfully the pattern's not like unpredictable. This should be last hit. Nope. Yeah. Oh, it is. Nice. Woo. And he, he just did, yeah. and he just drops her. Okay, just flies away. Okay, bye. But... You could have taken it with you. Oh th yeah, I got that smooch. Yep. As usual, Mario saves the day. Mario's adventure. Oh, way to forget Luigi game. Luigi doesn't matter. They, they don't even mention him in the credits. Hey, <laughs> Yoshi and his friends are going... His friends? You mean his brother? What other friends? What, Yoshi has brothers? Yoshi no, can... no, I mean like Mario's brother. Not other friends. I guess if you want to count the other Yoshis as friends or whatever. Yeah, but damn. Poor Luigi. <laughs> well, there's the fireworks and such. Look at that. Oh, man. I can't believe it. It's over. And yep, there's the heart. How cute. Great game. Not for one of the best ending themes of all time. Wow, that was one heck of an adventure. All the, all the various worlds that we went through. Oh man, I, I can't, I, I can't put my words into this. But wow. Now, now to start this off, <sighs> Luigi's still not here, <laughs> but. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, this isn't the first game that neglect neglected Luigi in, the, in, the, in terms of ending scenes and such. But, so, anyways, now, I guess we can give our opinions on this game, at least our full fleshed out opinions, and give our short review. So, now, I know this is a pretty, like, an obvious opinion. I know it's, like, one of the popular Mario games out there, and I know many people, like, will, like, you know, will compliment this game and say, like, many things about it. But for me, like, this game, like... I can see why Miyamoto considers this one of his favorite Mario games out there because like this game has stood out at its time, you know, to compete. Well, I think, well, no, I think, well, Sonic the Hedgehog came out afterwards, but, but even so, but you could tell it was trying to at least like compete at other companies and such, which is like 16-bit revolutionary graphics, all the colors and such, and all the pixels. I'm not going to go that commercial again, but, um, but it's in the music too. It's just, it's just like, it's just memorable and especially the credit music in the boss fight, like, like, those tracks stood out, they're just, like, brought back, like, in Super Smash Bros., for example, and, like, other Mario games. Like, just everything about it, it's just so great, and it's just too bad that we never really got another unique style of Mario game like this. Well, there's Super Mario Land 2, but that game gets overshadowed. But... I feel like, like, you know, like, this game just cemented, like, the overall Mario charm and appeal. Yeah, pretty much, and it also has to introduce the staple iconic characters like Yoshi. Everyone loves Yoshis, so they made a, made a state to the franchise, which is really awesome. And there's their babies and a thank you message. Why is thank there you so much for why, playing my game? Why is their arm orange though? That's what I want to know. But whatever. Enemy roll call. But yeah, so we're gonna get the cast list here of all the enemies that played a big part in this um, game. I'm not gonna say show because this is not Mario Three where, where it took place at a play. But yeah, honestly, like the enemies here, they're really unique. Um, I just realized they're taking this over the um, the. the Oh god! The... Oh yeah, the the pigeon pill. <laughs> I oh yeah, we're still at the we're still at the um, the reskinned um portion of this game. But <laughs> oh whatever. Yes. Yeah, so, so so even the credits change the enemies to what we get after we complete the special world. Yeah, this is fun. I, I mean, it's pretty obvious what they were beforehand. They're just reskinned enemies, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Mass Koopas, pretty creepy. But yeah, but yeah, this game pretty much stood out, and I hope that you know since it's been a long time, like at least um how do I say this like. Pretty much like, all, like pretty much like almost eight years, or even so, we haven't even got like a a new fleshed out 2D Mario game. Like I know there's Mario Maker out there and such, but we haven't got like a brand new one for home systems. And I don't count New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe because that's just a port. But even so, it's just it's just that this game has made a big impact. And I'm not gonna say nostalgia and such, but there's like some flaws, of course, as usual. Like, well, I can't really point them out at the moment. Just I'm pretty sure, honestly, this game's positives outweigh its negatives by a mile. <laughs> I know, like I can't really find anything to, to, to I don't know, despise except that stupid Star Road shit. But <laughs> like, even like regardless of nostalgia, this game's kind of hard to get. It has a lot of replayability. And it's just fun to play. And it's just fun to revisit too. Like even if this game gets ported a million times, it's still great. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't get tired of it. That pretty game. fun. Heck, when this gets ported over to, I don't know, fucking... I don't know, the Nintendo on and off, the Nintendo on and off, the Nintendo Wii 3 or something, whatever <laughs> fucking console they make, I'll still play this game. Or even the 40S, I don't know. It stands the test of time, man. But yeah, that's all I gotta say here. If you want to give your thoughts, then feel free to, I don't know, share it. So. Pretty much everything you said about it is what I hold true as well. It's just a very fun game. I, I played it since solid. Yeah, it... There's a nostalgia factor there, but it's just fun to play overall. And yeah, like I feel like every Mario fan out there should have at least had played this once in their life. No matter how old they are, even if they're young, this is a good game to start off with. I like to, I like to give a huge shout out to Brawl, really. Brawl actually got me into playing this game because it was in the masterpieces, even though it was on limited time. But even so, this this I'm glad that many young young kids out there, like since they have the Switch Online app, they actually managed to try this masterpiece. And I really hope they do enjoy for what it was because this is a, a timeless classic and it will just have its legacy stand out for many more years and generations to come. Definitely. It's a great game to just, like, play every now and then, just unleash your stress out. And plus, Wait. like, we actually managed to do this online with the actual SNES map, as you can see here. Like, oops, not... Let me create that save point. Yeah, so I'm now I'm exposing pretty much everything that we have here. Yes, there's the UI, there's a switch and everything. Like... Yeah, like we, yeah, like we actually managed to do this on this nest online, and like somehow the the connection is just so good. We've been doing this the whole entire way through, with no like input lag issues or anything. And damn, Nintendo outdid themselves on that one. But, Very slight issues, but not to degrade anything that's already been said. But yeah, it's been pretty good experiencing with someone online. Yeah, and I'm glad to have Gerald along with us. Thank you. I've been wanting to do. Funny enough, we've been actually wanting to do Super Mario World together for like a very long time now, and like. And he's not exaggerating by that. By a long time, he means a long time. Yes, because, like, I tried countless of ways to try and do it. Even, like, taking turns, like, he uses his copy of the game, he uses mine, and we just do it the most jank way. We even tried oh, doing it... Way possible. Yeah, I know. We even tried doing it on the SNES emulator, which is, like, the NES or something, with NetPlay, but right. that shit's complicated as fuck. But the here... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a NES, but... The X, yeah, X-NES, whatever, but... But, yeah, so... We finally got our hands here, and we've actually managed to get um, go through this journey, and we did it before the year end. So that's a big milestone here. So why don't I press start? Oh, it's one of those games where we have to reset the game. Okay. Yeah, it just stays there. So if you want, back then in 1990, we would uh, take a picture of it with our old scraggly cameras. Yeah. It's to commemorate the occasion of, I beat the game, Mom! You know what? I'll probably do this right now. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to overwrite the data. And, oh, I was so scared. I was so close. I'm going to do this right now. Yeah. Now I feel proud. Post <sighs> it on Twitter. Show it to all your friends. Yes, I'll flex it to my... I'll flex it on Twitter. <laughs> Man. Can't believe we're actually done with this. We've 100 percent at this the whole entire way through. And I've been wanting to 100 percent a Mario game for such a long time. And I'm glad that I... I just to make sure. There's no. <laughs> what are we missing? <laughs> There's no. What are we fucking missing here? Let's look. There's no fucking. Okay, there has to be. Let's check. So we did this. Or did we not save? Are we, are we fucking saved? I think we're missing routes. Are we? Oh, I remember now. The main exits fucking count for some reason. The main exits? All right, yeah, you, like the, you can do that real quick if there's time. I remember now, these exits count, actually. Like, we have to at least go through them, like the normal exits. All right, we got that, let's do it. Okay, <laughs> we got that out of the way. Now we got 92 right now. Couple more to go. Good thing I told you to check, because yeah, you can't just say we got 100% without double checking. Wow. Are you fucking kidding me? Whatever, I like yeah. the I don't want to lose it. Okay, why do I care about- Okay. Okay. We got 93. Just three more to go, I suppose. That's the easiest one. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> I'll speed run it then. I just need a Yoshi real quick. Help me out with that. Oh, Blue Yoshi. Oh, yeah, Blue Yoshi, that's right. 
Come on, go. No. Okay. Even so, I feel like we're missing one more. Well, we... What would it be, though? That's what I want to know. Okay, swallow it. I swallowed the, uh, shell. Okay. I <laughs> hate my life. What are we missing? Okay, we say. Alright, time to go through everything again. I, oh, I know! I know! I remember! The what is it? the it's the it's the forest of illusion exit. Remember those three exits and we didn't do one. Oh, is it? Yeah. I fucking knew it had to be in there, dude. I, like I, I I was hesitant to think that, but yeah, fuck this shit. Okay, I remember now. This has to be it. This has to be the concrete. I'm super. It's a guarantee. This is it. But I don't remember which one it is. It's either the one that's blue blocking or. Nah, it's not the one that blue was blocking. I did that one. Actually, I don't know if there's three exits or two. I don't know why I get the third one. For oh god, that's close. Yeah, where's the big moon? No, I there's definitely three because I. So you don't remember the bit? So you don't remember the moon one? Alright, let's check anyways. The big was supposed to be covering it. No, I, I remember I took the one with like the big moon was covering the door. Yeah, it probably was, but not anymore, just because it's uh we went to a different area. That was the one. Fuck off. <laughs> really? That has to be it. Fuck up. Yeah, cause it cause it opened up a pad. Wait, wait, did you save? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that was the one. Wow! Fuck. That is one way to cover salt on the wound. So bad. <laughs> what, the fuck? what the was that noise? What the hell? Was, dude, I've been living on a wild goose chase on game facts, looking back at my own videos. God damn, it was this particular exit! John, that that was me hitting the boot. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is uh who on earth would have expected the fucking ghost house? That that <laughs> level's just whack. <laughs> but Okay. I can't I can't even do a proper conclusion at this point, just cause of after what Okay. Fuck this. Fuck this. I swear to god. Okay. Okay, well, that was one way to end this. But yeah, I can now guarantee to say that I we have now 100% completed Super Mario World. In case you want to do this, please go for all the exits. Even the fucking ex multiple exits in, in freaking Forest Ghost House, because that's just weird. Because they don't have a key door, and it's, I mean, they don't even have a keyhole, period. And, they, and they're just all like re regular goalpost exits, so like, what the fuck? And they still count, Ugh. but exit is an exit, and do all the Star Road exit too. That's all I, that's all I can say, because we have to literally backtrack that. Well, anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, this is going to be fun to edit, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for joining along with us on this journey to go through Super Mario World, and at least, for the most part, you know, 100% and going through all the exits, but this is the one way to fix all the damages. But hey, we got the 96 along with Star, so, that's good enough, and that's an A in my book. But yeah. Now what's next in the future? 2020 holds a new decade and a new era for TGMG. And, I just want to say that I have two familiar members who are going to come along, fly to where I live, come to my house, and we're going to have a huge, huge project. And next time, we're going to be taking a big look and 100% on a three-player three co-op let's play or a full fledged out walkthrough of new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. People consider New Super Mario Bros. U as Super Mario World HD in some cases, which I can kind of see that in a way. Yeah. But, uh, so I thought it was a good way to at least, I don't know, at least announce that. So hope you guys look forward to that. It is going to be a one heck of an experience. I have yet to do it, but I'm pretty sure by the time I've uploaded this, uh, I'm pretty sure I've already like started doing it. So look forward to that for next year. So until then, Thank you guys for watching this. You know, thank you for the support. Thank you for everything for this. It was a, it was a fun blast to go, fun journey to go through. And thank you, Gerald, for joining once again. You're welcome. And I'm exhausted and my voice is tired. So we're going to leave it off here. Thank you for watching, guys. And until then, have a good night. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy New Year. Bye. Thank you.